Welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. I am going to do um, a video here on how to make paprika powder um, using my dehydrator here. Uh, this is the Nesco dehydrator that I've had for several years and it works great. So we're going to dehydrate these beautiful red paprika peppers that I grew indoors uh, using the hydroponic method, crack key method. Um, I have several videos on my channel kind of from start to finish on how I grew these, but um, they've been harvested and they have turned a beautiful red color now and they're starting to dry up. So I'm just going to first uh, remove some of the seeds from them and save them so they can be removed as many seeds as I can so that I can save them, dry them out and uh, collect them for this um, spring so I can plant them outdoors and just start cutting these up and putting them on the dehydrator. I'm just going to chop these up into smaller pieces. They're partially dried out already because they've been sitting in this basket for a couple weeks. I'm just going to spread them out on this tray here and we will start drying them. Okay, so we have our paprikas all cut up here and ready to turn on the dehydrator. I've also collected a whole bunch of seeds here that I can save now uh, to share with uh, someone else and uh, use in my garden, hopefully for the next couple years. So we will just put the dehydrator on here, leave it for 24 hours, see how it does, and then we'll be ready to uh, grind them up in the spice grinder. Okay, so these paprika peppers were pretty dry within um, under 24 hours of being in the dehydrator. So we're going to just get them all into the spice grinder here. nice and crunchy feeling. Now I am going to use my magic bullet to grind these up. If I had a spice grinder that was working, I'd be using it right now, but I'm going to try it with this kind of blade and hopefully this does the job. So I have collected this many seeds from those peppers here, so this should be a good supply to last me for a couple years. I'll just put them back into this packaging that the original seeds came in. whole lot there at the end of all this but this seems to work good for grinding it up it smells good so I think the um, this is ground up fine enough so I'm just going to funnel it into my container here now Try to get as much out of here as I can. It is. Looks 
excited to uh, try this out. I'm making some beef short ribs tonight. I'm going to use this in my rub and um, probably on my egg salad, my coleslaw salad. I like to sprinkle paprika on those kind of things all the time. So see what else I can use it on. If you'd like to leave a comment below and let me know what you do with your paprika powder spice, uh, I'd like to hear. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, that video on how I made my um, own paprika spice, uh, paprika powder from my own homegrown peppers. And uh, it's something very easy to do that you can do with a variety of peppers. I'm hoping that I will be growing some uh, variety of peppers this summer outdoors that I will be able to grind into some spices again this fall. So I will, since we're talking about peppers, I just wanted to show my other cracked key pepper that I have growing. So this is a, um, these were mini sweet bell peppers, uh, seeds that I taken, had taken from um, store-bought peppers and started them using the crack key method. They're growing in water. They have a very large root ball right now. They've produced a lot of little mini peppers and you can see that uh, they're starting to turn orange, most, most of them. So we'll see, waiting to see if they turn any other colors because the, uh, the variety that I bought had red, yellow, and orange. So we'll see how that turns out. So I just wanted to update you on those. So be sure to watch for that. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And I thank you again for following me and we will see you on the next video.